run and the size of the pipe, it looks really awesome. And uh, you got some really good borders. George, yeah. I've never seen one of these live. Really? No. That number 14, he was like. Wow. You know, watching these guys. When they go up in the air like that and they start doing their spins and all, it's crazy. It just gets something going inside your soul. It's like you're just happy for them and you're happy for yourself because they make you feel good watching them, you know? Oh, oh my god. it. Have you ever done the US Open before? I have not. It's my first year trying to qualify for it. I've been to the last couple of U.S. Opens in Vermont, but the U.S. Open for me is like the one of the best competitions of the year. I have never been to an Open before. Okay. It's gonna be great. The course is nice. They fixed everything up. I hope to make that top five and make it to the actual U.S. Open. USASA National was one of the first contests I ever did. I got first place there, and then from there, someone was like, "Dude, you need to go to the U.S. Open." So the next year we looked into it, went there, and uh, <laughs> did very poorly. But uh, I've been going back ever since and just kind of been working up the rankings and made semifinals a couple of times. But uh, hopefully this year I'll make finals. crazy to see what we have now. I mean, we are hosting the U.S. Open qualifiers and we could never even get smaller events six years ago. I never thought anything like that this would come to this place. We've really been building up our program here. Um, I mean, it's been a, an awesome experience, you know, from, from like managing the terrain parks just to kind of come in and really, really get the support needed to build a program to host events like this. Came through in the qualifiers, busted out the win. Um, really hyped. Never won money before, so and this is a good spot to do it. Now that there's been a separation between the U.S. Open qualifier and the U.S. Open, you can really reward that group of individuals that might not make it, you know, past the semifinals to even get in the finals. Now they have their own legitimate contest. I really think the possibilities are endless here at Vail. It's, the venue here is so sick. Just being at Golden Peak, you're right at the base of the mountain and you look up and you got the half pipe on your right, slope stop course on your left. The slope stop course literally ends right in the base. So riders just coming right down, right into the action. Everyone's ant on being here and want to keep that US Open tradition alive and sort of keep, keep the vibe, keep the soul of what the US Open's always been about. And that hasn't changed since we've moved from Stratton to Vail. And it looks like we do have a few poachers. We might be in a new home, but some things never change at the U.S. Open. I first went to the U.S. Open in 1985, and uh, it changed my life. And to have everybody come together for a gathering like that, and to have so many like-minded people, now is the beauty. Every year, you knew you were going to be surrounded by a couple hundred people that you could share your love of snowboarding with. I think I was probably in high school when I shot that sequence of the cage. Um, everyone was just totally rowdy and shit-faced in it, screaming at riders, harassing riders. A couple of riders were coming up, knocking one back. Now in a pipe this big, 22 foot. The margin of error between decking out, landing in the tranny is so fine, you got to be on your game. Snowboarding is just different, it's just progressed so much since then that uh, you know that kind of wild lifestyle element to contests is just out the window. It's a memorable event for me and I think it's really cool that now we're in Colorado and it still has a really good feel but it's going to be a, nonetheless a crazy crowd and really good for the riders. I grew up watching the US Open. Badass event with badass fans. Yeah you just feel it. You feel it for sure. You don't get that everywhere. Change is always a good thing and I'm stoked to be a part of it and I'm going to try my very best this weekend. We'll see what happens. I ended up landing both my runs and landed myself in fifth. 
as long as I can make that top six um, and make, make the overall and get into the finals, um, I'll be so happy. <laughs> This went really well, but I fell in uh, on the wall, the second wall ride, which is like, it's like, yeah, to fall on the wall ride and then come through the Jones is just a bummer. I have to say my very first day of practice here at Vail was one of my most favorite days of any of the Opens. Right off the bat, the half pipe was perfect. It was sunny, the temperatures were a little warmer. It was that perfect snow consistency. It doesn't feel like a contest. So it just feel, it feels like snowboarding. Um, you know, I was kind of wondering like how the vibe was going to be, you know, because usually the US Open it's just so many kids, you know, and so many people, you know, trying to make it through the rounds and stuff. But I kind of like it, you know, it's, it's, it's more mellow, you know, you're not waiting in line forever to, to drop in, and, and, but everyone has, still has a chance to, to qualify and, and to, you know, make it to the big show finals. It's going to bring more attention to the event, and it's just something where, uh, I don't know, just need a little, a little fresh blood, a little fresh surroundings, so I'm happy. All these people bitching about it leaving the East Coast, it's like, go do the Seven Springs one, and then come out here and ride good snow. And the Japanese kid, he's killer. You know, I was either head judge or judging X Games, you know, when Sean was 10 years old, and he did every freaking trick that the pros were doing at 10 years old. We just went, wow, this is the next thing. You know, the little kid from Japan is the next thing again. Yeah. The Open is very rider focused, very rider driven. Yes, it gets the exposure. Yes, it gets the TV time. And they're open to our feedback um, and really catering to the riders and to our needs, making it one of the most progressive events out there. One of the craziest and best things about the US Open is they've had a hand and letting the riders and the judges and the officials shape it and, and mold it and, and form it to the Beano you know, for the best of snowboarding. And I think that's you know where their true legacy really lies.